This has been an autumn season filled with movies about organized crime, and the latest one is named King of New York. It stars a good actor, Christopher Walken, in a good role as a New York drug dealer who wants to wipe out his competition and do some good at the same time. Walken doesn't see the contradiction between funding a slum hospital and selling the drugs that put so many people in the hospital in the first place. I'm not your problem. I'm just a businessman. Walken plays the kind of character who sometimes seems to exist on sheer nerve. Whoa! Hotel. I got work for you. If those three guys are going to get a good reception at the Plaza Hotel, I recommend they put on suits and ties. King of New York was directed by Abel Ferrara, who made the cult hit Ms. 45 and China Girl. He has a brooding sense of visual style and shadows and lurid neon colors in the King of New York create the right atmosphere. And he and Walken and a good supporting cast also create some individual scenes of real power in this movie. But what? is it all about? At times, the King of New York seems like Robin Hood, selling drugs so he can finance a hospital. The storyline was so impossible to accept, including the implausibility of the scene we just saw, that sometimes even the actors seem to have trouble believing it. I just, I finally just lost track and stopped caring. Well, it, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, not only do those characters, they're not going to the plaza, that's obvious, but, but there are other drug dealers, they have conventions in there and big suites in the hotel. I mean, it's totally <laughs> preposterous. The other uh, issue is, I think just what you said at the beginning, I mean, this guy is supposed to be a conflicted hero because he wants to do good, but he's a drug dealer. That's, I don't buy the basic premise of the film, which is very clear. It, it, it falls apart right on its face. Then you can get into other issues of the white hero running a black gang. I mean, that gets a little tiresome to I see. I think the one thing you can say about Ferrara is he has a real good visual touch, but yeah. he needs a real good story editor.